Now, art makes life worth living. And to kick off, we will be checking some visually appealing artworks from Jacqueline Soiree, a ballpoint pen artist and a just woman whose foray into art started from the early age of five. And for the past decade, she's been doing it. Now, she has stunned her ardent collectors with magnetic pieces, which over time have grown larger than life. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning. Good to have you here. And thank you for traveling all the way. We are so honored <laughs> to have you. Now, thank you for I'm having me. Talk about a ballpoint pen artist. This is the first time I've, I'm hearing, I mean, I've heard about different artists, but tell us about being a ballpoint um, pen artist. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing different about it. It's just the medium that we're using to create the art. So as opposed to using like ordinary brushes and pencils, I use a pen. A ballpoint pen, pen, pen okay. precisely, yes. Now, I, I, I'm, um, we did read that you started from the age of five. Uh -huh. Now, how did your family take you wanting to be an artist and not chasing being a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer? How did, how did your family react to that? Mm. Okay, so in the beginning, my mom used to like always buy me papers and crayons because she was like so excited that I used to draw. Okay. Then after a while, like, she was like, I just is becoming serious. So. Yeah. You know, and then I said I wanted to be an artist and she was like, well, people that do art, they don't really have money. I don't want you to suffer, you know, but there was yeah. that there was that concern. But I think with time, my parents kind of got comfortable with it and then they were like pushing me forward. Yeah. Yes. And now you now as an artist, how is it for your sustainability? I mean, how is the financial returns? Because not everybody in Nigeria is into art. Mm -hmm. So how is it like for you? Okay, so the art community in Nigeria is a small one, yeah. but it's a thriving one. Yeah. And um, in the beginning, like every other career, you have to like go through the hurdles, you know, start, you know, face some days where you'll be hungry. But it's passion that keeps it going, you know. When you're passionate about something, it's like a guy that's chasing a babe that he really likes, you know, you, no matter what, you keep going at it. And mm -hmm. it's passion that keeps the fuel for the production and for the love of the art. So you don't um, give up at some point and be like... This thing is not for me. At some yeah. point, because of course, everybody that is pursuing a career of some sort, you get to a point where you get tired, you get yeah. exhausted, mm -hmm. you feel like giving up. Mm -hmm. But the passion is what keeps it going. So even on days when there's some hunger, because there is hunger in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. But yeah, it's passion keeps Let's it going. Let's talk about the hunger part. <laughs> <laughs> the part where you're thinking twice. Tell me about one experience that you had that you almost felt like throwing in the towel. Okay, so when I was doing my youth service, okay. um, I had um, job offers for like normal nine to five jobs. Yeah. But a lot of the time they were like out of my out of my career field. I wanted to, I've always wanted to just be an artist, like a full time studio artist. Yeah. I didn't even want to do anything else. And oh. I was getting offers, you know, to do other things, to even be a lecturer in my department. But I, I wanted and and. During youth service, the hunger was real, like, was real, very real. I was even doing art lessons, you know, teaching um, children with disabilities and all that stuff. Wow. But, but one day, I was, I think I was trekking in Abuja, and I was just, like, waiting. Like, God, what is this? <laughs> like, am I sure I don't want to just go back and take this 9 to 5 job, yeah. you know? So there, there are days like that, yeah. Okay, now let's, and we have one of your pieces up showing on screen now. I would like us to talk about the preparation process or the the... Um, you did this, but you've done so much. I would like us to just take one and talk about how you worked it. Okay, like this one now. Mm -hmm. Walk us through the creation of this work. Okay, so first of all, my works always start from an idea. Okay. So um, there's an idea, there's a message I'm trying to portray. Okay. Then I, I kind of like picture what it should look like in my head. Okay. Then the title of this work is called Comfort Zone. Comfort Zone, yeah. okay. So I try to what it should look like in my head. Then I now look for like people who I think will suit the narrative I'm trying to. This is one of my friends. Her name is Stephanie. Okay. And um, I just told her, Stephanie, okay, let's do this shoot. And then we got the photographer and I, uh, we actually posed her. That was like paper. I just rolled the paper and put it in her hand. Thanks. I told her, okay. So give us the attitude like you're smoking. And then, yeah, yeah so that's, that's the first, the first stage is the photography, okay. getting the concept, then we'll start drawing. So the paper is really large, like yes, it's really large. So I transfer, I do the, the drawing with pencil at first because you don't want to make mistakes on that kind of thing. Yeah. Then when I'm sure that, okay, everything is perfect, then I start drawing with the biro. So you, how many virus does it take you to get this? This particular one took close to say maybe 17 to 20 pens. Pens, wow. Yes. And mm -hmm. then how long did it take you? Uh, okay, so typically, um, this one's that this size. It would take me um, uh, between, one and, between one month and six weeks. 
one month and six weeks yes. of trouble. Wow. That, <laughs> but one month is like, how do you pace yourself? Do you give yourself a time to um, a day? Okay, so because it's a ballpoint pen and then the lines are really very fine, yeah. I have to, like, I work, I work very, with very strict schedules. Like, in the morning, I wake up, go to the studio for, by 10, and I close by 5.30 every day, Monday to Friday. Yeah. Yeah, so that way I'm able to put in enough work to make sure that, you know, I'm heading somewhere because it, I can't even leave it to chance like when i yeah. feel like when i don't feel like yeah. i won't finish any work yeah mm. I and so now work. people who want your pieces do they have to tell you what they have in mind or are you do you curate for what you feel would work for them both actually both okay. actually so sometimes uh, a client might tell me oh i want you to do a portrait of me okay. first of all i'll tell you it's going to be in my style so i, I won't i won't come and um, paint like other painters. I'll paint like Jacqueline. And I like to capture people in their essence, like their true form. Mm. So I would ask you questions about, you know, what makes you kick. Yeah. And then we'll do this photo shoot and I'll make sure you get completely relaxed because body language is like 100% for me. Okay. I like people to be vulnerable. So we we'll have mm. to capture you in your most vulnerable mm -hmm. moment before I will now move to drawing. Yeah. Okay, That's so like... the first thing you do is actually take a picture of the person. So the person yeah. doesn't have to sit there for a No, moment. no, you just, ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this, what we had on screen now was a picture, um, was that a, uh, a piece is, that's you, but that's not you in the picture. No, no, that's not me in the picture. Okay, so tell us about this picture. Okay, so this um, photograph was taken by a photographer in Abuja. Okay. I was going through my Instagram feed and I saw the photograph and I was like, oh my goodness, like I have to. Uh, so I, I approached him, his name is um, Fabulous Banji. So I approached him and I was like, I like this photograph and I would like to draw it and all that stuff. And then that's how I started it because um, sometimes when I, I can organize like a full photo shoot and then I won't see any photograph that I like. But you've done everything, models, photographers, but you won't see. So sometimes I collaborate with photographers. Like, that's, that has, that's, Instagram has been awesome for that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and um, wish you all the I know you have an exhibition coming yes, up real soon. Yes. When is that going to hold? It's on the 25th of this month. Of but this it's month? in Abuja. In yes. Abuja. Yeah. So please share, share <laughs> the virtual link to be no, present no problem. there. Definitely. Wish you all the best. Thank you. But there you mm -hmm. have it. I mean, Thursdays is what we call Artsy Thursdays. And there's definitely no Wake Up Nigeria without a music performance. Coming up next is a performance. We have our artist is on standby and Mike is going to be talking to him.